Located just 15 minutes from Universal and about 30 from the Magic Kingdom, and only a stone's throw away from the historic Winter Garden, Yellow Dog Eats is the perfect way to get away from the chaos and enjoy a truly local experience. So today we are very, very excited. Manny and I have come out to one of our absolute favorite local restaurants that's not on property of one of the theme parks. So we are just outside in Gotha, Florida. If you have a car or if you're in town or you're a local and you're trying to find one of the most unique, fully local vibe, you know, relaxed energy, amazing food places that you can think of, you've got to check out Yellow Dog Eats. And that's where we're going to take you today. So let's go check it out. So this place looks like a little house right out here at the corner of Gotha and Hempel Avenue. It is absolutely adorable. The inside is super unique, super charming, super fun. Today we went ahead and parked across the street, but there is a ton of parking in the back. If you're wondering why we went ahead and parked across the street, there is a lot of parking over there, but also we have a dually truck which sometimes you get yourself into some parking situations that it's really hard to get out of. But note, right over there is additional parking. So you're gonna walk around back if you parked in the front like we did, but normally you can just park back here. I mean, look at this place, guys. This is the entrance into this restaurant. How stinking cute is it? I wanna say I found this first on Atlas Obscura because we came here within the first week of being in Florida because it was one yeah. of the places I was most excited to try out. It's just got so much like unique charm. It reminds me of like one of those great little gourmet, you know, custom sandwich places that would be like near a college campus, but it's not. It's just out here in this little housing community of Gotha. This spot has some serious charm. You guys, it is tucked into like this historic little part of town. It's absolutely adorable over here. The building itself is part of the area's history, built in 1910. You can totally feel the old school laid back vibe when you walk in the door or onto the patio. It's like, I don't know, it's like you're in one of those classic local shops that's been around forever and just knows exactly how to make you feel right at home. But let's be real, we're here for the food and the menu is full of original dishes. They are all created by Chef Fish Morgan and we're talking things like sandwiches, barbecue, fresh salads, daily specials that are all about bold, unique flavors. Everything here is made from top quality ingredients and from scratch. I mean, locally grown greens, house smoked, yes I said, house smoked bacon and pork, homemade pastries and the bread. Dude, the bread on every single one of their items is amazing. They make this pioneer bread in-house. You can just tell that they put so much love into everything that they serve. There is no question that these ahi tuna nachos are a family absolute favorite. They're really just so tasty. They're different than, diff than other ahi tuna nachos in that they're like these little tuna bites, right? Yeah, cubed and seared, really flavorful, really well done. One of our go-to favorites. Got to get it every time we get here. It is perfect for a good share. I went with the kitty cat that we have over here. Beautiful tuna sandwich. They have another one that's more of a tuna melt. This one though is absolutely delicious and it comes with coleslaw. You can get coleslaw or tortilla chips or chips. And Manny, you went with the- I went with the roast malone. Roast malone. It's a roast beef sandwich with the pimento, tomatoes, some uh, baby spinach. Oh, so good. I've had it before. So thought I'd try something new. A salmon BLT with smoked salmon, bacon, goat cheese, capers. Yes. And, oh my God, that sounded so good. But they didn't get their salmon in yet today, so. Yeah. What did you get as a side? It's a mozzarella and tomato salad with a yes. balsamic glaze. Absolutely delicious. The thing about the sandwiches here is they're like a total step above, right? Yeah. It's not just like, oh, it's a sandwich. It's like got like creativity. There definitely is some, you know, thought put into like cheese choices and the way that things are pulled together. Right. It makes it just so, it's, it's, it's a unique dining experience. It's not just a simple sandwich joint. It's like crafted. They're like crafted mm -hmm. sandwiches. It's just really well executed. A lot it's a of great flavors. It's important note too that if you want to, when you're here in town, you want to try out some local beers, you can absolutely get, um, they have lots of beers on tap. They also have a ton in cans or yeah. bottles. So you can totally get hooked up over here with local beers. They have a little outdoor spot for that and indoor. It's really cool. Look who just pulled up. It's the salmon truck. How funny. All right, so try to get a good one with lots of everything on it. Some black beans, cheese, obviously a little 
little cube of sea or ahi tuna. Mm. The thing I find fascinating too about these is that they're nachos with ahi tuna. A lot of times ahi tuna nachos, like the ones that I love so much over at like, um, what's it called? Um, <laughs> yeah, the yak, yak and yeti. <laughs> Manny, show her how you reminded me. Yak. Up to yak. <laughs> that was your yak Universal impression. Yak term. <laughs> that's how you show yak. But those are like wonton shit. Like that's like a totally different right. concept. These are nachos. Yeah. In and but then there's also this really flavorful great tuna. Yep. And what's nice, you'll notice these look like white corn tortilla chips, mm -hmm. which are a little bit lighter than yeah. yellow corn or blue corn. Mm -hmm. So it's a lighter flavor on the corn tortillas, not overwhelming for the ahi tuna. Excellent. It's always yeah. a go-to. I, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I'm just so excited because usually when we come, I kid you not, we always have our kids and our dog with us, and I get like two chips because it is like, shoof. They gobble this up in record time, and we never get any of it. So I'm like, wow, I actually get to like not panic and have some. Well, I don't know about that. Let's see. <laughs> it's true. So we've been here many times. We come a lot over here because, like I said, it's one of our all-time favorites. Um, when people are in town, it's a fantastic place to bring people because it's it's just very unique. It's very different. It's very its own thing, right? So it's one of those things that you want to do when you're. It's what you'll remember, right? Like you go to a lot of places and, and like, oh yeah, that was good or da da da. And sometimes you just grab a bite at a regular old joint somewhere. This is a little place where you can grab a bite that you're gonna remember it. Like, remember that cute place that we ate? Yeah, yeah, this is one of those places. But today I went with this tuna. They do, like I said, have another one that I usually get. This one's called the Kitty Cat. And it just looks absolutely incredible. So much tuna. Oh God. There's some sweetness. This is just, it's a masterpiece. It's like, there's like beautiful sweetness, a little bit of fruit, that Gouda cheese. Tomatoes, all of the vegetables are fresh, freshly cut. They haven't been sitting while the flavor just kind of water drains out. Amazing. I wish the bread was toasted. I guarantee you, if I asked, I could have got it that way. I just didn't think of it, but absolutely delicious and enormous. Like, yeah, this is big huge, sandwich. Huge sandwich, but any of them here, you can't go wrong. All of the sandwiches look absolutely incredible. One of our kids is gluten and dairy free, always finds wonderful options to have here. So even if you have allergies, this is a great place to go and get a fantastic meal. It's gonna tide you over for the rest of the day. Here we go. Roast, roast Malone. Malone. A little classic roast beef sandwich, pimento cheese. Toasted. Toasted tomatoes. Here we go. All right, now, Roast Malone, had it before. Super happy to have it again. Excellent sandwich, got great roast beef flavor. Such a combination of flavors. The roast beef, fresh tomato, and then that pimento cheese brings in just a touch of spice at the end. Not like hot, just a nice little touch of pimento spice in there. So, really, really good sandwich. While the food is absolutely the reason why you come here, the vibes of this place is the reason why you just want to stay and hang out for the rest of the day. They've got such an awesome whole energy, the decor, things made by local artists, pictures of everybody's dogs on the walls. It just can't be beat. It's so unique. It makes us just feel so at home whenever we get to come over here. It's absolutely someplace that we recommend and take all of our friends to when we can. Don't forget, they've got an awesome wine list with bottles ranging from an affordable all the way up to fancy, not to mention an extensive array of beers, both on tap as well as by the bottle. They even sell like jams and sauces and condiments and all this really cute stuff that is perfect for taking home as a souvenir. So if you ever find yourself in Gotha, Florida, you have got to check out Yellow Dog Eats, you guys. This is the kind of place that just, I don't know, it just feels like it's been a part of the community forever. And you can just tell that the owners really care and everyone who works there, they just really care about what they're doing. You'll definitely leave with a full belly and a smile on your face. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've ever been here, let us know what your favorite sandwich is in the comments section below. And otherwise, add this one absolutely to your list of must-do Orlando eats.